What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the Beginner Guitar Tutorial for Rockstar by DaBaby and Roddy Rich. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by either of these groovy artists that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you want to know to play Rockstar on guitar is that we're going to be in standard tuning and we are not going to need a capo to play this song. The next thing we would usually go over is the structure of a song, but for Rockstar we're actually just going to have an intro and an outro and then one picking pattern that's going to repeat through the whole entire song. So we don't actually need to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing we'd usually go over is the chords needed for a song, but for Rockstar we're actually going to have the same picking pattern through almost the entire song, so we don't need to worry about the chords for this one. And with all that in mind guys, let's dive into Rockstar. Man, this is such a cool song. I love it when rap songs have really cool guitar parts in them because I'm a big fan of rap and obviously a big fan of guitar, so it's kind of the best of both worlds for me. So this song has two guitar parts in it. There's the intro and outro little strumming thing, which we'll look at first, and then there's the picking pattern it's going to play through the whole song. I'll tell you guys right now, it's a lot easier than it sounds. It is kind of fast, but it's not terribly complicated to play. So like I said, the first thing we're going to take a look at is that short little strum pattern situation that plays through the intro and the outro of Rockstar. So we're going to have four shapes here that are going to repeat through the whole entire song. It's literally just the same four shapes over and over again repeated through the whole song. And the intro and outro will have a single down strum for each one of those shapes. But other than that intro and outro, it's actually a picking pattern that plays through the whole thing. So the first thing we're actually going to take a look at is the four shapes that are going to repeat through the whole entire song. Our first shape is going to be a sixth fret on the D string an eighth fret on the G string, a muted B string, so you can just mute it with the bottom of either one of these fingers, and then a seventh fret on the high E string. That's our first shape there. It looks like this, and it's gonna sound like this. Just like that. The next shape we're gonna have is we're gonna slide this way up here to ninth fret on the D string, 11th fret on the G string, still muting that B string with the bottom of either one of these fingers. And then we're gonna put a pinky finger on the 11th fret of the high E. That might be kind of hard to see with this angle. Again, I'm keeping it kind of wide so you can see the whole fretboard. But this shape right here, 9th on D, 11th on G, muted B string, and 11th on high E. That one will sound like this. Now, what's awesome about this chord is that the next two chords are going to be this same shape, just slid to different frets. So we're going to keep this same shape here. We're going to slide this down to where it goes to 4th fret and 6th fret, respectively. So we got 4th fret on the D string, and then 6th fret on the G string, muted B string still, and then 6th on the high E. And that's the whole shape right there. A strum of that sounds about like this. And then our very last shape is going to be, again, the same shape we have here. We're just going to slide it two frets down, so we're going to have second and fourth fret respectively. So second fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, muted B string still, and then fourth fret on the high E string. That one's going to sound like this. Just like that. And those four shapes right there are going to repeat through the whole entire song. Now, for the intro and the outro, we're just going to do a single down strum for each one of those shapes. And we're just gonna do it from the D string down. So we're gonna strum from D string down once for each one of those shapes. We're gonna play through that twice for the intro and then twice for the outro. But don't forget these shapes because we're gonna use these same exact shapes in the same exact order when we get to the picking pattern. So let's take a look at this intro little strumming situation first. We have our first shape here. We're just gonna hit that D string down. We're gonna strum it onto the next shape. Strum it, onto the next shape. Slide down, strum it, onto the next shape, slide down, strum it. Just like that. And we're gonna loop back around. We're gonna play that twice for the intro, twice for the outro. So one more time, walk through that. We've got this first shape here. So for this one, we've got a sixth on the D, an eighth on the G, a muted B, and a seventh on the high E. We're gonna do a down strum there. We're going to slide up here where we've got 9th on the D, 11th on the G, muted B, 11th on the high E, strum from D string down. We're going to take this same shape, slide it down to 4th and 6th fret, so 4th fret on the D, 6th fret on the G, 6th on the high E, still muted B. And then we're going to take this same shape and we're going to slide it down to 2nd and 4th respectively, so 2nd on the D, 4th on the G, muted B, and 4th on the high E. And we're just going to strum through that twice for the intro, 
and twice for the outro before we get into that picking pattern. So guys, a couple of times full speed through this little intro outro strum pattern situation through those four shapes I just showed you will look about like this without me talking. From there guys, we're on to the picking pattern that's going to play through the whole entire rest of the song. Everything other than the intro and outro will be the same exact picking pattern that I'm about to show you. So this is going to be using all of the same exact shapes that we just used for the intro and outro, but obviously rather than strumming, we're going to switch over to a picking pattern. So just a quick little review of the shapes that we have here. We're going to start here with our first shape, which is a 6th fret on the D string, an 8th fret on the G string, and a 7th fret on the high E string. That's our first shape. Next shape is going to be a ninth fret on the D string, an 11th fret on the G string, and an 11th fret on the high E. We're going to take that same shape there, we're going to slide it down to 4th fret on the D string and 6th fret on the G and high E strings. And then we're going to take that same shape there and slide it down to our last shape on 2nd fret on the D string, 4th fret on the G string, and 4th fret on the high E string. So same shapes that we just used for the intro and outro, all we're doing is switching to a picking pattern now instead of a strumming pattern. So we'll start here with our first shape here. This is the 6th, 8th, and 7th one. For this one, all we're going to do is we're just going to pick straight down through these twice. So we're going to pick D, G, high E, D, G, high E, and then we're on to the next shape. Next shape here, we've got 9th fret and 11th fret and 11th fret, so 9th on the D, 11th on the G, 11th on the high E. For this one, we're going to pick straight down through them like we just did, but we're going to do it three times instead of two. So we're going to go D, G, E, D, G, E, D, G, E, just like that. And then we're on to our third shape, so we're going to slide this way down here to 4th on the D string, 6th on the G, and 6th on the high E. For this one, we're going to go back and do twice through that picking pattern again. So, D, G, E, D, G, E. And then we're going to slide down to our very last shape here, 2 frets, to where we're on 2nd fret of the D, 4th fret of the G, and 4th fret of the high E. We're going to do this one 3 times, so we're alternating how many times we do through the little picking pattern there. So first time we've got two, second time we have three, third time we have two, fourth time we have three. This is our fourth shape in the progression, so we've got three times through that picking pattern. We'll go D, G, E, D, G, E, D, G, E. Just like that. And that right there will repeat through the whole entire song other than the intro and the outro. So, one more little guided walkthrough here. So, we're going to start with our first shape. We got sixth on the D, eighth on the G, seventh on the high E. We're going to go D, G, E, D, G, E. Then we're going to slide up to our second shape here, which is ninth on the D, eleventh on the G, eleventh on the high E. D, G, E, D, G, E, D, G, E. We're going to slide down to our third shape here, which is going to be 4th on the D string, 6th on the G string, 6th on the high E. We're going to pick through this one twice, D, G, E, D, G, E, and we're going to slide down to our last shape, which is 2nd on the D, and then 4th on the G and high E. We're going to pick through this one three times, D, G, E, D, G, E, D, G, E. And that right there is going to repeat through the whole entire song other than the intro and outro. Now guys, this is not a super complicated picking pattern. It's fairly easy because we stay on the same strings and we kind of just slide up and down. It's about the same shape for most of those as well. The trickiest part about getting this picking pattern is going to be playing it in full speed with the song. It is very, very fast in the song. So as with any picking pattern, I always recommend playing through it and practicing through it as many times as you need to slowly before you try to work it up to full 
speed. Make sure to get the picking pattern down first. Make sure you get all the right stuff in all the right places and then work on playing it faster. That's what I had to do with this song and that's what I do with every single picking pattern I play. I start really slowly and I practice it until I can play it full speed. So with that in mind, I'm going to play through this a couple of times very slowly so that you can make sure you have all the right stuff in all the right places and then I'll play through it a couple of times full speed so that you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly a couple times first to look about like this. And a couple of times through the picking pattern that's going to repeat through everything on Rockstar, besides the intro and outro, will look about like this, full speed. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play Rockstar on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 750 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what songs I'm jamming on, where I'm traveling, or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude. link for that will be in the description below. And lastly guys, if you want to support the channel and get your name in the credits at the end of each new guitar tutorial, you can hit up my Patreon at patreon.com slash the Groovy Guitar Dude. link for that will be in the description below as well. Guys, as soon as I heard this song, I was like, man, I have to teach that. I'm a huge fan of rap, and obviously I'm a huge fan of guitar, like I said, you guys can probably tell that by now and so I love it whenever I can combine both genres and a lot of times that means kind of making up a guitar part to go along with a rap song but in this case the rap song has the guitar part actually in it and it's a really cool part as well so kind of the best of both worlds for me this picking part in this song that plays through pretty much the whole song is tricky and it's not tricky because it's super super difficult it's tricky because it's fast what's cool about this song is that it literally is that same four chord or four shape little progression repeated through the whole entire song including the intro and outro it's exactly the same progression just in the intro and outro you do those single down strums but for the rest of the song you do that picking pattern What's cool is that it's really repetitive and that isn't too terribly hard to get down. Once you get it down, you kind of have it. All those shapes just play in that same order throughout the whole song. What is hard about this song is how fast it is. It is extremely, extremely fast. I struggled quite a bit to be able to get this song to full speed and even that last little playthrough where I was playing at full speed, I wasn't super happy with it. I messed up a couple of times, you might have noticed. It's just really, really, really fast. So. 
What I recommend for that is to play it slowly as many times as you can, as many times as you need to. Play that picking part very slowly as you're practicing it, and then work your way up to full speed or as close to full speed as you can get. Now, what that'll do is that'll make sure that you got all the right stuff in all the right places, which is most important. Accuracy is always most important. And then you can work your way up to full speed. You develop that muscle memory, you get those shapes down, you get the finger picking down, and your speed will gradually increase as you you get those things down better and better. That's what I do for every picking pattern, especially ones that are a little bit tricky or a little bit fast like this one. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.